Hello, welcome back. In this lesson, I'm going to concentrate and do a couple of it, a few other brushes. We'll fetch in the fan brush today. Now there are many different fan brushes you can get out there. This is quite a thick brushy one, and you can get thin ones as well. There we go, you can get very thin ones too. Uh, but I, I like these bushy ones. Um, okay, so without further ado, I do. Let's see what shapes we can make with these fan brushes. Let's have a look at trees today. Let's have a look at some trees. I'm just going to make a little mixture. Now trees ideally the way you paint them you paint them if you paint them with a round brush you go side to side to side that'll work if that good if that works wouldn't it I've been thinking about that and another pencil so they go from side to side to side and then down so that's how you would do it with something like this and I'll show you I'll show you. So we just have a bit of green and with the side of your brush on there, on there, you see all these little gaps that it's leaving. They're perfect for a tree. And then we'll bring it down there. And with a pointy bit of this we can Add a couple of branches down there, a little loose stray one there, and a stray one there. Right, and then we've got a nice ground for it to sit on. And underneath that, we'll put a darker colour underneath those branches where these branches are joining, and under that's uh, like underneath. Where the leaves are falling down, now covering it up in a nice bushy bit under there. And that's a simple way of drawing a tree. Now there's another way, <coughs> probably even simpler really, is with a good old fan brush. So this fan brush we've just loaded it, we'll load it a bit more with some more paint in here give it a dab there and a dab and a dab there we go nice and messy though isn't it now we can use that and bring those those tree trunks down to there and you've got another and a tree there. That's without a fan brush. And we can go back in with that fan brush. Just at these little areas there. And just use the sides just to touch it. Just to add a little bit of extra leaves on there. Now I have another fan brush. Which is a lot thicker. Let's see what this does. And you just move it from side to side, eventually it'll come down to there, and then there we go. And as it's at its darkest points, we just put a couple of extra bits of shadow in there there you go that's how you do little trees that was simple so it's your choice what you prefer using that one for that or using this one for that 
or you can use a great big old bushy one for that. They're all good in their own right. They've all got their own bit of charm to them. It depends on what you prefer. There's another way of doing, doing trees as well. With your round brush. That's probably why this is my favourite brush. Because it's so versatile. And it's just to have a foreground. And I just... One big swoop there. And then with a damp brush just underneath bring it down and then we can add a few little bits of interest there and then you let this dry that's the key you have to let it dry so we will do just that and we'll come back in a minute when it's dried back to it now these are all dried now so this is that other kind of way of doing a tree I actually like this one I think it's a lovely way of doing it so we've got the big trunk there um, let's get a darker pigment so it's the same pigment but a little bit richer so the tree trunk is there and from the very extreme and the tip of your brush put some little Crissy crosses there we go and what you can do if you want you can just take a few little snippets of this out just a couple and it looks like the tree uh, the, these branches these branches have gone behind the leaves I'll leave that as it is now this other part here there's another one you can make that a nice little bushy old thing that decide which side your the light is going to come from as well this time it's coming from that angle yeah the sun's coming over there so that means all the shadow is going to be really on this side and a little and also underneath the trees the leaves so we'll go back into this trunk here and paint on this side of the trunk yeah looks a little bit more believable and the same with this and we can put some little squidgy old branches there if that's how you want to do your trees you do it that way and the same with this one over here now bring it down there just add in little bits of shadow little bits of shade of certain certain areas here you go and don't worry if your trees don't work out well for the first go you just keep practicing don't forget i've been doing this a long time so you enjoy it and um, have fun doing it don't be frightened doing it just enjoy it so that's that's really a how how I would paint trees with those different kinds of brushes. My preference is that, but everyone's got their own preference. So yours might be the fan brush. So um, let's see what else we can do on the next lesson.